Hello guys, my name is Master Rolfus, and welcome to Pillars of Eternity, an RPG created by Obsidian Entertainment and published by Paradox Interactive. Now we have four difficulties, easy, normal, hard, path of the dam, yada yada yada. Then we have four, um, not four, but two options attached to any of these difficulties that you can turn on. Expert mode and trial of iron. Expert mode just turns off a number of helper features that make things a little bit easier. And trial of iron pretty much allows you to only have like one save file, and if you die, the save file is deleted. Much like EU4, where they limit the amount of save files you can have. Now we're going to be playing normal because I played as a godlike wizard. And I was doing fine until I met a wolf. And that wolf mauled my ass. And I died. So yeah. I'm definitely going to be playing on normal. Though then again, I did only have like two hours of experience. And this game is pretty darn long. I think there's gonna be a little bit of a story thing before Five character. Wagons oh, never mind. Finally, for the path on a starless night, their master glancing ever upward to the skies for assurance that he is on the right course. A dim lantern, his only protection against the encroaching darkness. But the skies bring no comfort, shining no light, betraying no hint of what they know. The caravan carries travelers bound for the frontier hamlet of Gilded Vale. You among them where a local lord has offered land and wealth to settlers from abroad looking for a fresh start. You have taken suddenly ill, sweating and shivering, and one of the other travelers signals for the caravan master to stop on your behalf. He pulls up just in time to avoid plowing into the trunk of a fallen tree that bars the way ahead. You will go no further tonight. Oh, how nice of him. Anyway, as I was going to say before I was interrupted, character customization. Now, if you give a damn about uh, lore and blah, 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 and all that stuff, there's a ton of lore attached to every single choice for sex, race, class, culture, appearance, and even voice. Actually, I don't think voice has a ton of lore attached to it, but uh, you get the point. It'll kind of determine uh, dialogue choices and stuff like that. But if you're like me and you don't give a shit, just pick male or female, whatever rows your boat, and continue onwards. Now... Each of the races has a certain amount of bonuses and weaknesses attached to them. So, I guess giving a shit about this would be big. Anyway, uh, humans have uh, plus one resolve and might. Plus two might for Aumayu. Dwarves have plus two might, plus one constitution, minus one dexterity. Not the most speedy of individuals. Plus one dexterity, plus one perception for elves and... Or lands have plus one resolve, plus two perception, minus one might. That guy doesn't look that strong, so I don't blame him for being a little bit weak. Now we have Godlike, which have plus one dexterity and plus one intellect. Godlike isn't a, you know, separate faction among the races. They can exist in Aumayu race, uh, races, humans, dwarves, elves, and Orlan. So they're kind of like a mutation. Uh, they can't wear any headgear, but they have certain bonuses attached to their sub-races, so this guy can attack an enemy with 50% or less endurance, and their damage is increased. Fire Godlike can reduce, uh, when reduced to 50% endurance, they gain damage reduction and do a small amount of fire damage to a creature who hits them. And Moon Godlike and Nature Godlike have their own things. Now, the sub-races also have... Well, not the sub-races, but the races also have their own sub-races attached to them, but this is mostly for, I guess, um, dialogue choices, as well as just cosmetic appeal. Because as you can see, all the sub-races here for humans, they have the same uh, ability attached to them, Fighting Spirit. This guy's also the same thing. Well, actually, no, this guy seems to be different than the coastal one. Okay, so maybe it's just for the humans. I'll show this off. Yeah, I guess the humans have the same abilities for each one of the sub races. But yeah, if you want to look at this, you can, I guess, pause the video and stuff. I just want to scroll past it really fast. And yeah, that is pretty much about it. Now, what will I pick? I picked this guy last time with a wizard class. Do I want to pick him again? 
I do like being evil, and in my Dungeons and Dragons game, I always pick the Necromancer. And Necromancy is in this game. And this guy is attached to dying, so yeah, let's pick him. And we know, you know, we have some body types that we can attach them to. I don't want a particularly small guy. Apparently, Orlans I think are smaller than elves. Hold on, I need, I uh, not elves, uh, dwarves. I need to check that. Okay. Oh my God, they are smaller. That's pathetic. No, I'm not picking him. Okay, let's pick. I guess this guy because he's super big. All right. Now we have the classes. We have barbarian, cipher, fighter, paladin, blah 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 blah. You get the idea. And I'm not gonna. Um, pause the video for these separate classes because it's just gonna take too long but pretty much I'm gonna pick a wizard again I guess or do I really want to do that hmm you know what I'm always a necromancer let's not pick a necromancer no no I got I got a better idea okay I got a better idea we're gonna pick a god like we're gonna pick a fire god like and we'll pick or you know what no, no no we can pick this guy but we're gonna not, we're not gonna pick a wizard no we're gonna pick a rogue yeah definitely a rogue the god like over here isn't really attached to wizarding so you know what we're all good we can pick a rogue rogues are pretty cool all right a rogue can do sneak attacks, which apply bonus damage to the rogue's range of melee weapons, and can attach um, afflictions known as blinded, flying, toppled, paralyzed, petrified, prone, sh uh, stuck, stunned, and weakened. And plus one stealth, plus two mechanics, a couple of different abilities, or not abilities, but stats attached to us. Good. We have two abilities. We have Crippling Strike. The rogue attacks his or her enemy's ability to move around effectively, inflicting extra damage to and hobbling any enemy successfully hit. A blinding Strike. A dirty attack. Oh, that makes the opponent unable to see. I actually like that. Yeah, let's get Blinding Strike. And the stars pretty much highlight what you should really be focusing on for your class. So let's put some points into dexterity and might. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, we do have cultures that we can be attached to. Which can make things a little bit more pleasant. Depending on which lines we visit. Uh, no, I don't want a shield. And this guy only has a spear. A rogue with a spear. Come on now. You have a curved sword. I like that. I want to be a pirate. Yeah, I'll be a pirate, and we get plus one dexterity. Sweet. Yeah, and we can choose our background, too. That's awesome. Is there anything that has to do with stealth? Raider. Okay. I do like Drifter, though. Yeah, I think I'm going to choose Drifter. Like, you know, I don't really hang out with people. I don't like anyone. I got a fucking giant set of horns on my face with black stuff oozing out so I wasn't really popular with the gals or the guys depending on what I was into actually you know god likes are apparently unable to reproduce which is pretty cool anyway let's see how we can bedazzle this guy I guess we can give him some red goes nice with his black actually no we'll just give him black yeah yeah good okay now we can choose the head that's a little bit ridiculous. Oh, no, no. That's even more ridiculous. Should I pick this? Looks like a giant horn. No, this one is badass. This one looks like a unicorn. And this guy... Okay, this one looks cool as well. But we'll pick this, I guess. Choose the portrait that we want. <laughs> Imagine I just look like this, but I have this portrait attached to me. That would be, f that would be funny. Well, let's see... What do I want? What's that? Nah, we'll just go with the first one, I guess. 
They have a lot of different choices, though. I like that. I like that this game has a lot of choices. Granted, I, I don't really like the whole, I guess, um, humans, elves, dwarf thing, but whatever. Uh. Leading the way. Silence surrounds me. Now I am the leader of the group. Nah, Sinister sounds stupid. Nice and slow. Huh? Yes. I've got this. Yeah, feisty. Yeah, a feisty dude that looks like this. I like that. Um, Fred, Fred Burger. Or is Fred, Fred Burger the first name and then Burger's the last name? I think Fred Burger is the last name and Fred is the first name. Whatever. Fred, Fred Burger. There we go. That looks so cool. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through the whole area's crawling with hut dwelling types who would be happy to stick an axe You guys can you pause if you want to read this. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded veils less than a day out. Understood? Touch of the rumbling rock could be. There's a stinging beetle around here, carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards. Unless you don't drink water, of course. Which case you'll be dead in a day. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink. Called a springberry. About the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. But see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. All right. Now let's see what we can do. They grow on a bush that's common around here. Kind of we'll funny. Just talk to them a little bit. See on half the hills of air Of course, all the ones around here got. been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn. So I hear. You know, this is pretty much repeating what I was saying earlier. Your skills, class, race, culture, and sex will open up dialogue options and blah blah blah. Change up how they talk to you. Not if you hurry about your business, and not if the got different names for them. Settlers called them in Gwithens. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins, tell you. This time of year? Rain, mostly. They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. Soul I've butchers? Heard tell hmm. it can hold a man's soul, but I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. i like to hold see on. that. Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most of this lot. But you drop dead, I don't want to be looking for the body. Got a schedule to keep. Hmm. Kalisha. Kalisha? Kalisha. He needs to find some spring... No promises. What kind of guide says something like that? Kind you can afford. Don't listen to her, you're in good hands. And I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a Beowick, we'll shelter in the room. Cut dwellers be damned. What the fuck you is heard a the man. Let's get going before you keel over. Alright. Hmm? So this is pretty much how Fuck off, I already I've already done this. Guess maybe I should have turned off those uh helper messages. Anyway, so essentially this is how you work in eh? Pillars of Eternity. No you problem. move around your characters or party depending on how many people you have available to I guess conscript and you select them and you just move around with the left mouse button you know you can talk to people by Go clicking on, on them before it gets too dark most people that you could talk to will be friendly you have an option to sometimes kill people or sometimes uh, just talk to them you can avoid combat if you're smart enough Click on stuff to investigate it. Click on stuff to loot it. That sort of stuff. Anyone needs supplies? It's available. I've got. 
Brought a whole wagon full of say, is Ooh. there anything? Let's see what he got. Huh. A crossbow, a great sword, a hunting bow, a couple daggers, a rod, a sword, lockpick. I don't have anything available huh? to me. Let's see what inventory I have. A saber. And a dagger. Oh, god damn. A dagger. Now, we can have uh, four weapon sets and we can switch them uh, during combat very seamlessly. Uh, we have mini scale armor, the scowl, there's a battle axe and a torch. We have nothing to craft. So, you know no what? Problem. We won't buy anything from sure. you. Sure. Now, you can also speed up your movement with fast mode. Makes your characters run like they're on crack and slow mode. You can also go into uh, scouting mode. Can we move for stealth? Um, use for stuff. You, know, you sneak up on people and stuff. You do extra damage, but. Obviously, sometimes you definitely can't do it. Like, yeah, the story forces you into that sort of uh, situation that you can't do it. I'll have your water soon enough. Stream's not going anywhere. Right, this guy's being a little bit um, feisty, so you know what? We'll just avoid him. Let's check. We gotta get our water. Happens. Ah, a young wolf. You know, well, let's just <laughs> go ahead and fight him. All right, now the game is paused, and you can pause it any time you want, like if you press uh, space. Eh? And during need? this hmm? sort of um, paused, uh, I guess, uh, mm -hmm. mode or something. or Not mode, but, you know, just uh, pretty much whenever you pause the game, you can issue commands and stuff. So, for example, I want Kalicia to knock down that young wolf over there. By the way, this was not the wolf I died by. I did not die mm -hmm. on level fucking one. Um, and then we can use Buying Strike with this dude. But remember... All of our abilities have a certain amount of uses attached to them for every single encounter. So, for example, Blinding Strike, I can only use it one per encounter. What you need? And Knockdown, I can only use two per encounter. And after the encounter uh, is done and I go to the next enemy, then it all refreshes. But if we're still fighting, then I just can't use that ability and I have to rely upon normal attacks. Alright, so I pretty much fucked that wolf up. Yeah. It's revenge for killing Bambi's mom. And we could just take its pelt. This is it. Alright, here's some spring berries. And we could just talk to her, I guess. They're kind of a mystery, you know, blah blah blah. Just some kind of wander the way I hear it. So basically because I picked the drifter backstory now she's addressing me uh due to this now i can pick any of these choices that sort of thing tends to happen with orphans sure i wander into the lives of fools talk them out of their money and wander back out yeah uh, you have to do uh, you have to, you have to be when people are looking for you that is in your business yeah that is in your business go fuck yourself i don't want to talk to you Hmm, I haven't given it much thought. Okay. What do I plan? What do I plan for? Um, what do I want? What do I want out of life? I want to make some new friends. Yeah! You know, tell me about yourself. Locals are feisty. Are you here? Uh, your sisters, blah blah blah. Personally, mm -hmm. I don't care, but uh, that's all good. Let's go explore a little bit. Didn't do a lot of exploring last time around. Good god, that wolf gave us 170 experience. Is that a mega wolf or something? I would explore this place down south but first and foremost we should tell him about the berries still waiting on sparfell i'm sorry shit come on 
Yeah. We gotta look for the dude because he's not getting getting the water fast enough. Just wanna go here first. That's the fallen not tree. Not looking forward to trying to lift that thing tomorrow. Some ponies. I wonder, can we sell our pelt? Something else you need? Looks like. Um, survey says no. In fact, we shouldn't even sell it right now. Where's our pelt anyway? Let me see. Wait, she took it. Yeah, she did. We'll find. I can only use this for like crafting, if anything. Hmm. Probably Got it. nothing. Uh, probably I can't sell it. Let me check. Didn't know she had something it. Something else you need. Eighteen. Oh well, I guess I'll sell it. Why not? Hmm. Actually, wait. Can I sell it? Hmm. Yeah, I can. Oh no, wait! I have to trade it. Trade it in for an 18 CP. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay, so it's not called sure. sell. It's called trade. Whoopsie daisy. I thought that mm -hmm. meant something else. Obviously, that was my first time doing this. When I was a wizard, I avoided that entirely. Just went in and tried to kill stuff. Deer or something. Ugh. Seems like the water guy's dead. We do have more armor, which is eh? cool. Let's go across this bridge. See what's up. What a surprise. Ah, Sparfell. Sparfell, are you all right? Oh no. Our friend is dead. Ambush. Oh, no kidding. Alright. What you need? Let's go ahead and knock over that fool. Oh whoops. And then you can knock over or not knock over, but you could blind this guy. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Still have music abilities. Now he's already knocked down, so we don't want to do that. We'll just beat him up. Eh? And you can't use your blinding strike anymore. So just use slashing. Got it. Boy, go help her. Eh? Never mind, she lit him no on problem. fire. Come on, we have to Before I was confused camp, like yeah? how no she problem. could do that, but then I realized the torch. Ooh, we have bow. Interesting, I might actually want to use that for my character. Not her, but hmm? Got myself. It. Ah, nothing here. Ooh, more bad guys. All right, well. Yeah. No, let's go ahead and get this guy. And then you can knock over this fool. We have the option to also talk, but or we could talk to Kale uh, Kalesia, but obviously I don't want to do that because there's no point. Ooh. Yeah. Go ahead and get this guy. Shit, he interrupted my ability before she could knock him need? down. Now there's. Basically, a disruption mechanic that's also involved in this game. So, if an enemy kind of disrupts your ability, then you can't mm -hmm. cast it. Kind of sucks. I think I was able to get on this guy. We're gonna get attacked by this archer over here. Which isn't good. So, we'll have to knock down this fool again. Did she knock him down? Oh, you will in a second. Huh. Oh, it has no more uses. We probably used it and it didn't work out. Got it. Okay, you know what? Let me just use it for that guy. Yeah, we can double team on him. Yeah, last time around, there wasn't three of them. There was only two. Ooh, but he gives a lot of shit. Holy shit. Yes. Crap, that's a lot of goodies. 
Or no, that was for the entire gang. Okay, that's the leader. Now, here's the very interesting thing involved with this game. More of your, I guess, um, character customization is involved when talking to enemies and trying to avoid combat or trying to get them to join your side and stuff like that. Now, if I had plus one lore, which I did when I was a, li uh, a wizard, then holy crap. I convinced this guy to, like, not fight us at all, which was cool. But things are going to be a little bit more interesting. Like, we had to fight off against three guys this time around, and now he has a helper. So, things might be a little bit harder. Hmm. So let's do this. And obviously, if I had some perception, intellect, resolve, athletics, and intellect again, then, you know, maybe I could have, like, uh, done some very kick-ass stuff use might can do this put down my weapons I can stay armed hmm they do mean to kill us all and they killed the water guy I have no reason to trust them last time around when I was a wizard we still had to fight the guy he just let that dude go and it was like a 3v1 Okay. Not good. Hmm? Oh, yeah, it's two helpers. I didn't see that guy. Shit. Okay, let's go ahead and What'd knock out the leader. <gasps> Sweet. I scored a crit. Eh? Well, we killed that guy instantly. And because he's knocked out, he's an Got easy it. target. But... You know, we're definitely gonna kick the, get the guy that's like, you know, standing up and shit like that. Actually, hold on a sec. Let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, shit. Yeah, let me go get this guy. Shit, it didn't work. Yeah, he has a shield, so he can't be knocked down. Damn, guess what ha I guess that's what happened with the last no guy. No problem. Give us, hmm. Get inside. No, wait. I want to collect the goodies. Shoot. Yeah, this encounter was very different. I think it's going to be interesting. Alright, so we're going to have to get into the portal. And all that stuff and continue inside now you know what was very interesting in my last let's play with the wizard i was able to save the guy that told us to get inside uh his caravan or house whatever it was if only i had enough dexterity but in this particular let's play he died before uh what was it i could even have the option to save him so i didn't have that option in that um little dialogue screen we well not dialogue screen you. but that uh cinematic hmm it's very weird sure very very weird 